Hey guys, what is up? It is ZD Edits here. And today I have a tutorial for you on 2D motion tracking with the new 3D camera tracker plugin in After Effects. It comes pre installed if you have After Effects CS6, so I do recommend getting that or torrenting it if you're into that kind of stuff. Well, first things first is you're gonna, you should already know how to import your cinematic or whatever file, import file. And you're gonna pre comp it. So now that so we have like our own little cinematic. And before you start any 2D motion tracking, make sure your whatever resolution is always on full so it can always get the uh, every single little like pixel, I'm trying to say. So, in order to 2D motion track it, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the thing called perspective right here. You can drop, drop the little arrow. And there's going to be the first one called 3D camera tracker. And what you're going to do is you're going to just drag that onto your clip. And it's going to say analyzing in background. What that means is, like, it's analyzing, but you can still do other work while it's why it's analyzing that so it's pretty cool and it's going to take like a minute or two for it to analyze all the frames so I'll come back to you guys whenever it's done analyzing alright guys so it has just got done doing the motion tracking part now what it's doing it's solving the camera and during this part you're going to go into this and make sure that this thing's checked rendered track points it doesn't really matter but it makes all the little points show up first like the first time you do it so, it's going to solve the camera, it takes like a minute, um, and once it's done, I'll come back to you guys, and I'll show you guys the next step. Alright guys, it just got done with it, but for me, it says I just found this, only on this cinematic, because I have to go forward a couple frames, because of that black screen, you know, so I'm just going to split that a little bit. So, now you see we have those little points. It's doing it again. Uh, alright, so we have this little, all these little points located everywhere, and those are the points that are motion track. so if we see what we can, like, scrub through, they're going to stay in those spots. Alright, you guys get that part right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to find a position that we like to put our text in, so I'll say about, like, right here, really good, and you're going to go to create text and camera. Uh, so now you see a little text that shows up right there in the little camera track right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to click your text, double click to make it say whatever you want. So let's make it say UV. Alright, so there we go. And we're going to move it over to the X axis. So it's like in the middle of that rug. Yes, and then we're gonna go to transform rotation on the x-axis, and we're gonna rotate it forward so it looks like it's like standing straight up. And I'm actually gonna edit that. The D was all messed up. All right. So now we have our text just sitting there. And what we're gonna do is. Uh, we're gonna move it up so it looks like it's floating in the air right there. I'm actually gonna rotate that forward more. Looks like it's standing straight up. And we're gonna run over to this. So it looks like it just floats by, it's just standing in one spot. Uh, so yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna show you another cool thing you can do. So, delete that and delete that camera so now we have all the little points everywhere so what we're going to do is we're going to find the, I like that one I think. create solid and camera and so now we have a little solid actually I'm going to show you something else delete that and you go to back to this whatever and you go back to that one spot we found Let's do a create a solid and a, create a null in a camera. So it has a little null here now, and we're gonna go to layer new 
solid. Let me drag this over on the screen. So we're going to press OK. And we're going to make that solid 3D. And we're going to go to, see this little kick whip kind of thing right here. We're going to parent it to the track null. So now if we like ram preview through, it just stays in that spot. So we're going to go on the z-axis and move it back. And we're going to transform. Rotate that, rotate it forward a little bit. This is how on Baker's tutorials, this is how he like did his little holographic screen thing. And you can just like change the opacity. Like you can like see through it. So now you have like a little holographic screen. You can see. Yep, you can see that little it Like and it just, it just walks right through it. Pretty cool. Uh, that's about like pretty much all you can do with this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. Please leave a like and a comment. Tell me how I did. I'm about to start doing more of these. Thank you. Peace.